Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, and joining us from Bobon, Northern Samar in the Philippines. He weighed in at 143 and one quarter pounds. His record stands at 21 wins, four losses, with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the Southpaw contender, all the machine gun Rivera. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green and black trunks, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Havana, Cuba. He weighed in at 142 and three quarter pounds. His record, 27 wins. One loss and one draw, with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the current world contender and the former two division champion of the world. Introducing Kid Blast, Rances Bartenemi. And our third man to the ring, now to give instructions, Jack Reese. All right here, please. Right here. Facing me, right here. Looking at me. Right here. Poppies. Is it clear? Yeah, poppies. All right. I gave you guys instructions in the dressing room. Coach, un poquito arriba, abajo aquí, no bueno, below here, no good. Igual, okay? These are high, I'm gonna let them work right around here. Prestame atención, protégete en todo momento. Listen, obey my commands all the time, protect yourself at all time. Good luck to both of you. Rences Bartellamy there has been Sean Porter dying to get back into the ring. He hasn't fought in a year and nine months, and he said he, he keeps trying to get fights. And through the shutdown, obviously nothing was happening. But now, even with this fight, he, they're fighting at a catch weight because he thought Rivera could make that weight, meaning, hey, look, if it works for you, I just want to get you in the ring. Mm -hmm. So he just wants to get back in there. And uh, you got to understand that what fighters have gone through in the last year. Yeah, these, these and especially the Cuban fighters, they like to stay busy and, and, and they like to fight, you know, so I, I understand him wanting to get it back in the ring, even if it's at a catch weight, higher weight than he's normally at. And he's calling out the biggest names. He's 34, Sean, and he says, look, I want Spence Crawford. He didn't mention you. Maybe he wants to fight you. But he, uh, you know, he's saying, he like, look, me. I, I, I want to fight big fights now. Like, there's no protecting anything. He's yeah. world class. He'd like to get a third world title. He'd, his main goal is to be the first Cuban to win three professional world boxing titles. That would be amazing. I think the first thing for him is, I mean, he's got all the tools, all the, all of the skills. Being a Cuban fighter, I mean, there's no mistake, no, mis no, uh, no secret that all of those guys are, are very great fighters. Uh, but along with moving up weight classes, you got to be able to bring that power. And with only 14 uh, knockouts, I'd say that you know that's something he needs to improve on quickly, especially at 34. And for Rivera, this is a big step up in class. Again, he's 21 and four. It's a nice record, but it's only a second fight in the United States. In his U.S. debut, he was stopped in the first round by Malik Hawkins. So he's been able to build up his record in the Philippines. And then when you get to world-class competition, it's been a different story. Shoes like that goes. Yeah, yeah, but his game comes in. But again, that, that's coming in and be able to get a fight here against Bartellamy as he goes uh, big game hunting, hopefully after this fight. But you know how it is, Sean. It's like a lot of times you've got to try to, you know, navigating the waters mm -hmm. in going from fighter to fighter as far as opponents, mm -hmm. even before you get to the world-class level. That's half the battle, isn't it? Yeah, that's half the battle. I mean, most of the battle is the business. Uh, are you ready for that guy? And then can we put you in position to fight that guy? You know, when mm -hmm. Rance is calling out the big names, is he, first of all, are you ready to be in the ring with the, with the big the big guns, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Sean Porter and Aaron Smith Jr. and all those other guys at 147. Then beyond that, are, is that someone, is, are they willing to allow that to happen? Ooh, Bartellamy, they're turning southpaw and throwing some wicked body shots. You know, one thing, you, Bartellamy, you could, is so calm in there, Sean. Again, he does not have your style, let's put it that way. He, he's calm to the point of relaxed, and sometimes his output is, is fairly low. And I, I, we're hoping to see him throw his hands here a little more tonight. Yeah, but and, and this is Rivera's mistake. You know, Rivera's mistake is not not having any offense at all. You have a pawing jab, and you're not throwing any feints, no foot movement, nothing to make Rancis think. Rancis is going to tee off until he gets you out of there.
Final 15 seconds of round number one, scheduled for 10. Francis Bartellome able to throw some shots, and all Rivera moving in now, able to land. Good body shot there by Bartellome. And at the bell, former Cuban standout goes to work. Everybody's safe. And Caleb Plant and Caleb Truax in the main event coming up later on. Brian Kenny, Sean Porter here with you. And this is Rences Bartellome in the uh, a fluorescent green trunks. All Rivera of the Philippines in the red trunks. Sean, you let your hair, you'll let your hair grow a little bit too, but I haven't seen those colors. <laughs> you'll never <laughs> see those colors. Not That's my great style. though. Look at that. That's yeah, a lot I'll of let, work. I'll let him do it. I'll let everybody else do the craziness. <laughs> That's not for me. Round number two. From what you saw there, final like 15 seconds, Bartellamy goes to work. Sean, if, you, if you're advising Bartellamy right now and you know, trying to take care of this guy, what sure. would you advise? You, yeah. do, you, do you like the level he's at or do you, I, do you want more? No, I mean, I, <laughs> you know me, I always want more. But uh, you see that he's throwing a right hook to the body and it's going right up towards the solar plex. I love that punch for him. Uh, what he's doing, what I would prefer him to do is that right there. Five moments to put uh, Rivera, Rivera on the corners on the ropes and then go to work. That's what he did at the very end of that round, and it worked very well for him. He can do that sooner and through the course of these rounds and maybe even get Rivera out. You know what's uh, different with, with Bartolome, Sean, when he goes to the southpaw? He's, he's, right now he's in the orthodox stance, but he'll go southpaw. When he turns southpaw, he has a wicked left hook. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah. Really, he gets extra leverage on that, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Uh, Maybe, maybe he knows something we don't know. I mean, it looks to me like he <laughs> looks, to me, looks to me like he's left-handed, and we we may not know that, and that's why he's turning southpaw and throwing a, a looping left hook. And then Rivera, who's now you know throws a, a good hard left hand to gain some respect, each a shot there and a good body shot, but he almost got knocked down with the jab because he was waiting for that. <laughs> that left hand is so wicked coming over the top. He got got driven back by the jab. Yeah, man, I'm 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 I'll be honest. I'm confused by R Rivera. Did you come here to win or did you just come here to be in the ring? If you came here to win, exercise. Use your hands. Use use some foot movement or some head movement or something. Don't wait for answers because you wait. It's a recipe for success for 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 disaster. I got an accidental butt with a cut on this side. Francis, mm. tell me. Nothing, nothing. From the top of the head, box. All right, well, I can't see blood as of yet. Jack Reese speaking there, but there's blood there on the top of the head, and now that's another good hood by Bartellamy. Again, that left hand now coming out of the orthodox stance is, is really sharp. I want to I wanna ask Francis after this fight, are you, are you left-handed? Be honest. Because he's well, you know, Oscar De La Hoya right, was left-handed and fought orthodox. Yeah. Right? some guys do, and yeah. uh, that th th then that lead hand is, uh, it, it is becomes, much more educated. It becomes vicious too, and, and that's what we're seeing from Francis. Rivera now is bloodied and tries to engage here at the end of round number two. But he could be on uh, short time. I get a clash of heads. Good body shot there. Strafing body shot at the end. Here's a clash of heads. Unfortunate for all Rivera. He brought... Round number three here in Los Angeles. The uh, the third of our fights here this evening. Third of six. Brian Kenny, Sean Porter. Here with you. It's uh, round three here at 144 pounds. A little catch weight. Rances Bartellome in the green and black trunks. And all Rivera in the red and again there was a clash of heads you can see here on the left we'll roll it for you a clash of heads and sean it looked like rivera just like brought him in it's rare that you bring a guy in and he hits your head and opens you up yeah you know i think it was i think it was going to happen regardless but he did hook hook his head i think the hooking of the head just came from him trying to defend but also throw a punch at the same time and you know the, the worst part is is that he is the one who sustained the headbutt and, and a little blood as well it's scheduled for 10 rounds, and Bartellamy there. You see the punches landed 41 to 11 wide margin already. Francis is, he's winging this left hook. It's, it's a hook. It's an overhand left. I mean, he's, he's, he's got a, a variety of ways of throwing yeah, his left yeah. hand. And I'm fully convinced, and he can't even um, convince me that he's not left-handed. He's, he's officially left-handed. I, yeah, I, I, he, again, it's wicked. He really he winds up, and a lot of times you, you find different leverage when you when you shift over. Mm -hmm. And certainly he is, he finds like added leverage coming from behind yeah. uh, with that left hand. Yeah, he, so it's he, a weapon. I mean, if R Rivera could get knocked out with that one shot, absolutely. And if he gets Rivera walking forward, he's gonna he's gonna end up or Rivera's gonna end up walking into a big left hand or or a big right hand. Uh, Rances knows what to do. It's just a matter of him 
making it happen and then it landing. Rivera trying to press forward now, trying to make something happen. And Bartolome, uh, very experienced, able to get out of the way. Now moves in in total control. Rivera did uh, have difficulty sparring. Again, he's got long travel to get here. And said between, you know, COVID regulations, getting to a gym, finding a place in Las Vegas and getting sparring was just very difficult. What's strange, Sean, is he looks like he's in good shape, right? I mean, he doesn't look like a guy who hasn't been in, in you know, getting good sparring. Yeah, but, you know, at the same time, we don't see him working his hands. We don't really see much of an offensive or defensive uh, strategy from him. Big left hand land, landed yeah, right there. That, and, and, and as he got close to him. In his corner, they're the loudest people in, the, in, in here, and it's because they know if we push him to go, he'll do it. We just got to pull it out of him, you know? And that's what's happening at this point for Rivera. He's just got to have some output. Good pot shot right hand there by Bartellamy, who that, that was a wake up call. Like, if you're going to stand right in front of this guy, he's, he's not just here for you to beat. He will offer resistance. Another good right hand from Bartellamy. Good hard shot there, but all Rivera had the best punch of the fight so far, at least for him. His, yeah, his for him. best shot for in him. round three. No, not, not the best of the, for both guys. Even with but that, to, Jack Reese was saying, Do you have a mouthpiece in? So that's a clear mouth guard. Did you see what I saw there, Sean? Oh, wow. I just, he's smiling, and now. I'm thinking, yeah. does he have a mouth guard or not? Now it just hit me. Jack Reese said, oh, is it clear? Meaning, <laughs> oh, your mouth guard. It looked like, hey, you got to put a mouth guard in. Yeah. Come on, champ. <laughs> but okay. He's, Come he's on now. We've, we've seen it all. Yeah. We've seen guys leave the corner without oh, yeah. a mouthpiece on purpose. <laughs> all Rivera starting off here in round number four. Scheduled for 10. The main event still to come. Caleb Plant, Caleb Truax. As Rivera now starts to dig to the body, tries to build off a small glimmer of success in round number three. Did you give him that third round? No. Okay. I just make. I don't think you could. <laughs> I, he landed a shot. Trying to get him credit. I'm not. I'm not scoring it. And again, I, Sean, I've been surprised already tonight, haven't I? So. <laughs> so that's why we have Marcos Viegas here. We'll get him involved here fairly soon. I don't think you can make a case for Rivera winning no, I mean, any of these I, rounds. I don't think so. Not even close. Again, no, he, he hurt Bartolome. Like, if he staggered him or he took a knee, well, you know, then, but not, not quite. Didn't reach that level. Another overhand left right there. And Bartolome was to challenge for a, a WBA belt, like an interim belt against Alberto Pueo in April, but that fell through with the COVID pandemic, and they're still trying to schedule that fight, but that's what he'd like to get a, a belt, any belt at 140, and then he can build from there. You know, and Sean, I, I will throw out there, look, there's the interim belt, there's a regular belt, yeah. there's champions in recess, all that. But for the fighters, if you can grab a belt on your way, you, you do it. Yeah. You know, so I understand that, so I'm not putting it down. And Bartolome now rocking and rolling on Rivera. Yeah, this is, this is my thing. If you have all of these weapons, why are you not using them? Why are you just standing there and, 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 and touching with a right hand here and there and then trying to wing a left hook? Like, go at this guy like you with the experience that you have and get him out of there yep agreed final minute of round number four because when he starts to throw his hands it's impressive he, he, my thing and, and is it looks like he and it looks like he's close to taking him out and my thing is guys don't like to work you you got it sometimes you got to work hard it, was, it is what it is this is your job your job is to come out here work hard be impressive and be exciting don't say i don't want to do it because this guy's not giving me what i want take it rancis needs to go out there and take it take it from Rivera that's a good point because he also hasn't fought in a long time Sean so like what are you saving it for uh, you know you want you want to get a title belt you, you want to win in a, a third division world title no, no matter what the you know the belt is if it's interim whatever but and let's, let's be honest it, it, you're one to move up to 147 you got to show a, a heck of a lot more than you just being able to outpoint somebody that's a good point right if he's calling out Everybody that you fought. Yeah. <laughs> Not you, maybe, there you but go. <laughs> Final seconds here of this round and the main event still to come. Caleb Truax. And, you know, he came back and, 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 and got him back. But, you know, when you overlook a guy like Caleb Truax, uh, you're in for a long night and a, light, a night that may not go your way. Fifth round now. Jack Reese gets them ready to go. Rancis Bartellamy in the uh, lime green trunks with the black. And all Rivera in the red. And Bartolome for a guy, and then, Sean, I think you, you were very fair and on point in that last round in that, you know, Bartolome outclassing Rivera 
able to take him out here. He only has one pro loss. He'd like to go big game hunting. He comes off a split draw in his last fight, April 2019 against Robert Easter, where he had a very low output. So the only critique you can make of this guy, who is clearly world class, is you got to work. Like, yeah. Let's see you go to, yeah. let's see you at your best. Let's see it. Yeah, you got to work. I think the thing that Rancis Bartholomew wants is what he's getting right now. Rivera coming at him. He's going to be able to pot shot and, and, and stop and hit him with quick counters. That's a part of Rancis' game. He likes to counter punch. And I think that it works to his advantage having Rivera come at him. However, he's not showing it right now. Yeah, Rivera feisty. Able to throw shots, and, and you're right, Sean, you can hear his corner. They're inspired. I don't know how much they can do for Rivera, but they seem to rev him up a little bit, give him a glimmer of success. Yeah, I mean, when you're in the ring with Francis Bartholomew, you know exactly who he is and everything that he's done. The best thing you can do as a corner is just root your guy along, and knowing that he's going to hear everything you say, give him all the energy that he needs to believe in himself to beat a Cuban great fighter like Francis Bartholomew. You see the punch has landed. It's a wide discrepancy here from five into five, halfway through at least, 82 to 24. And Rivera is a guy who, he lost his pro debut. He was stopped in the first round. You talk about discouraging. Uh, he lost to a guy who was 0-2. Imagine that, he knocked out in the first round. And, but then Shawnee came back and won his next 10 fights. So he's he's been down before, a number of times. Uh, and so that, that has built in a, a, a bit of resiliency where he can step up here and clearly getting outclassed, but trying to hang on and do the best he can. Yeah, I mean, I, you got to wonder. And for me, especially hearing his corner the way that I hear the way that I hear them, I'm wondering, in Rivera, do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you can beat this guy? Great counter the hook counter, right there. Yeah, the, the counter Rivera. right came back from Rivera, too. Yeah, came, yeah. And kind of rocked Bartellame back. Yeah. So, so, so there's been a, one or two wake-up calls for Bartellame in this fight. Yeah. And he, I mean, Bartellame, you got 10 rounds. Uh, to make this fight happen and, and you know you, you stake that you want to fight all the big names at 147 it, Again, I'll say it. It's more you got to do more than look good You got to show something special in order to get in the ring with one of the big the big dogs at 147 I don't and see he's it right so, now. And, and, and he's that relaxed Sean that that he's got his hands down. He's calm But how about your hands up or how about your hands thrown? Well, and, and, <laughs> And guess what? You haven't been in the ring in a little while, so everything's not going to click the way you want it to physically. you got to pull it together mentally. Final seconds of round number five, and uh, easy work for Rensis Bartelome yep. here in L.A. Old Rensis Bartelome mentioned his last fight. That was April of 2019. Split draw with Robert Easter as we get underway here. Again, all Rivera in the red trunks, round number six. And uh, Bartelome against Easter... Uh, landed 10 punches or fewer every round. So he barely broke through into double digits. That's a, that's a low output for a guy this good. Now, punches landed in this fight. Sean Porter, it's much higher now. Obviously, 21, 20, 23. But you get the feeling he's kind of in cruise control, and, and we're just pointing that out. He can win this fight, but it'd be nice to be impressive and make people want to see you fight in the future. That's a, 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 absolutely. Expectly, expect, excuse me, especially when you're naming the guys you want to get in the ring with. I'm wondering where the disconnect is, though. Uh, with Robert Easter, I understand that the kid's a, he's a tower, so you, you may be limited in terms of your offense, but in the guy in Rivera, you shouldn't be limited with your offense at all. You should be landing upwards to 20-plus every round. Good, hard combination there by Bartelome, but Rivera's the man who's doing the work. He really worked hard in that previously 10 to 15 seconds to get inside, and it was answered with that good combination by Bartelome. Yeah, I think I've actually given Rivera two rounds now. Really? Uh, through, through the course okay. of the six rounds. Definitely the last round, and I, I feel like I gave him an earlier round, and, and I was joking on you, asking you if you were scoring the fight, and I forgot to write down who I who I had went around. But. Well, that's, that's not your job, Sean. You I know, know it's not, but... I got to I got to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, you should. No. I again, but you are you are calling the fight. I try to make a point of this doing this for decades on TV. While we're calling the fight, we can only do so much scoring it. Marcos Viegas, that's a different story. He is here to score the fight for us. Marcos, how do you have it so far? What are you doing over there, Marcos? <laughs> what are you doing? So far, guys, I have it 49 to 46. And, and uh, Sean, you are right. The last round uh, Rivera uh, woke up, landed some big punches. This round he's doing pretty decent. I feel overall these last two rounds his output has uh, gone up a little bit but definitely Rancis is in control in this fight and is winning it. All right. Marcos, thank you. But uh, interesting to note that you gave Rivera the fifth round. 
I, and, I agree. And then you give, and you think maybe two. You could, you could find it in your heart to give him two rounds. Yeah, Sean? maybe that was what that was. If I was, you know, given a present. Oh, listen, though, you know, judges will do that. If you have a guy who's in cruise control, winning, and then the other fighter who you haven't given a round to gets close, you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to score each round as a separate fight. But there's definitely that subconscious bias that you try to swing a, uh, around the other way to the other guy. He, Bartholomew just landed two great left hand straight straight on the chin uh and 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 Rivera still right there you know he's he's got increased the power especially coming up to 147 but let's just talk about right now keep landing that left hand and keep finding the opening for it. he also throws that he throws a kind of a pitcher's overhand left too yeah and to your point uh, Rivera's a guy who's been knocked out twice in the first people think that the concussions just come from getting hit you can you can get hit and get and get knocked down and landing on the canvas could give you the concussion, not the actual punch. You know, so mm. same thing with headbutts. Uh, sometimes you may catch a forearm or something like that. All of it can lead to you know the worst. Seventh round, it's scheduled for ten. Rancis Bartelome looking for bigger things in the future, going up against All Rivera, who's a big step up in class for the fighter from the Philippines. See the punch has landed 114 to 34. It's been wide in favor of. Bartelomey. I think he's slowing down. Uh, I, 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 I hate to say it prematurely, but I do feel that his, his punch output has decreased tremendously uh, over the last two rounds. And I think that more, the more, mo more movement and staying away suggests that he's, he's winded and, uh, and fatigued. I don't see him getting into the southpaw stance the way he did. And uh, most times, Sean, I'm not a fan of a guy who just switches back and forth unless mm -hmm. unless it shows a different dimension or you're good doing it. I, I've often referred to Daniel Jacobs, and I often wondered why does he fight southpaw when he's, yeah. he doesn't look good as a southpaw. He's, yeah. he's really good. Yeah. Orthodox, that's a good body shot from Rivera. But Bartelome, I looks pretty good southpaw. What he do looks, you think? He looks pretty good southpaw. I think that you obviously when you change... Uh, change the, the, the your, your, your position it opens up uh, different um, angles for, for for the good punches he was able to land a hook left hook and uh, and the overhand left as well but then he's gone away from that even you know so that's why I say he's got to be fatigued and he's got to be feeling it now only in the seventh round there's that uh overhand left and now Bartholomew starts to put the stick in that's a nice jab look at the right jab that's what's impressive too it's a hard right jab and that left hand is a formidable weapon he did the worst thing though BK Rancis he, he allowed uh, Rivera to get confidence he allowed Rivera to feel like he could mm. win this fight and now you see Rivera standing in there actually taking his punches and delivering some of his own where he wasn't doing that earlier on in the fight second third round right Good counter right there by Rivera as well, right? Don't let him get brave, as yeah. the trainer will tell you all the time. Don't let a guy get brave. Don't let a guy get comfortable. And that's what Rancis has done. And not only that, when you're not throwing any punches now, I'm sure his, uh, Rivera's corner is telling him exactly what I'm saying. He's he's getting tired. He's slowing down. Just keep going. Yeah, I wouldn't think Bartolome, he's 34. He's been in there. He's at 200 amateur fights. It's not like his trainers are saying, hey, let's get some rounds. We want to work. No. <laughs> let's get this guy out. Yeah. I had, I, had a, I heard a guy, he was uh, in a four-round fight, and it and it stopped in the first round. And he said, oh, I just wanted to go some more rounds. I said, yeah, you, you won't be saying that in about 10 or 15 fights. <laughs> right. Nobody wants to go rounds. <laughs> Final seconds, round number seven here in Los Angeles. We're back in a moment. All Rivera, as we get back at it here in Los Angeles, round number eight. I'd like to take a moment just to send condolences tonight to Kirk Martin, my friend and a friend of boxing. Kirk's beautiful wife, Michelle, lost her battle with cancer last night. Uh, no doubt she's looking down from heaven. So, Kirk, this is for you. Uh, wearing our purple tonight, her favorite color. Sean Porter as well. So, Kirk... Uh, our prayers go out to you and Michelle. Absolutely, I'm I'm honored to be able to wear the purple by accident, of course. <laughs> but um, to hear uh, that that has happened is is very unfortunate. And cancer is something that's very much alive in everyone's life nowadays. Thank you, Sean. Round number eight here <sighs> yep. with Bartelomew and All Rivera, and uh, you know there are. 
there are moments where Bartolome will have, I don't know, Sean, maybe their eight to second, eight to ten second um, stanzas mm -hmm. of beautiful work from Bartolome, aren't there? So that's what gets so maddening sometimes. I can't, and, and I can uh, attest to that. You'll see guys, once they get older in their careers, they will fight in spurts. They will fight in four or five round spurts in, in, in a round, uh, in every round of a fight. Uh, I feel that uh, Manny Pacquiao is notorious for that. He fights in spurts now. He doesn't just go, go, go the way we saw him when he was Pac-Man. Now he's, right. he fights in spurts, and they're far and few in between. Same and that's thing with, with Bartolome, Bartolome, right? Again, and he's, he's 34 now, so it's past prime, but not an old fighter. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem that way. Look, he knows, you know, when to put his foot on the gas, but uh, uh, it's just a matter of how much you want to impress. And are you going to look for those big fights? And then will fans, Sean, you know this because you, you benefit from this. Will fans clamor to see you fight the biggest guys? I don't think anybody's going to be clamoring yeah. to see Bartolome against Crawford or, or Errol Spence yeah, well. watching I, this fight. I, I, I don't want to mess up his money. I don't want to mess up his, his plans. But nobody wants to see you just walk around the ring against someone like Errol Spence Jr., mm. uh, Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter. Even his maybe possible sta stable, stable mate, your Dennis Ugas. You know, nobody mm -hmm. wants to see that. What I want to see now at this point is, okay, let's say Rivera hypothetically took away your outside game. Let's say the only thing you can do is fight on the inside. Show us that you that that experience that you have. Go to the inside, rough him up, put him up against the ropes, smother him, make it a hard night for him. Don't make it an mm -hmm. easy night for yourself by staying on the outside and staying away and not working. It's not it's not entertaining. It's not impressive. And, and to your point, Sean, uh, if you match him up against, you know, a guy, a slugger, right? If you can find a 140-pound killer, guy with a, you know, like a Maurice Hooker, big right hand type yeah. of guy. Yeah. Okay, it'll be interesting because you want to see the stylist versus the slugger. So th there, there's action for Bartolome out there. It just, uh, you, you want to see a little bit more here. I want to hear eight rounds. rounds. <laughs> that seems like eons ago. It's February of last year, just before the shutdown. He comes back tonight. And uh, Sean Porter, I mentioned this, and we'll, we'll talk about it again. Uh, to a very different super middleweight division, Canelo's in town. I don't know yeah. if you've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's weird, man. Uh, I, I personally felt like the 168-pound division, super middleweight division, was getting good and getting, getting jam-packed. And then it's like... When Canelo shows up, it's like all of a sudden it's the hottest division in boxing. Yeah, and the beautiful part is everybody's talking unify, right? Canelo says it, Plant says it, and uh, and we'll talk about it here, round number nine. But yeah, Caleb Plant, very different fighter from Callum Smith. Callum Smith, classy fighter, classic, you know, kind of English, British, European fighter, boxer. Uh, but Plant would be a very different animal mm -hmm. against Canelo Alvarez. Even though Alvarez, I, I have him number one in the world, pound for pound, Sean. And I think he, I thought he looked terrific in that last fight. No, I agree. And uh, speaking to Caleb Plant, we'll see exactly what uh, he's got tonight, and we'll get a good glimpse of what he could do against someone like uh, Canelo Alvarez. He's gotten better and better too, Sean. I mean, Caleb Plant again. He's, he, you know, he, he had uh, nearly 100 amateur wins and everything. But even as a pro, he seems to be developing mm -hmm. with each and every professional fight. He has, and he, and he, and he is. Uh, and that's the the best part about him and uh, a few other fighters out there. When you can grow and learn and get better every single fight doing the best things out there and when you get put into the ring with somebody like Canelo Alvarez who literally is at the top of the mountain you're ready for it because you've you've improved and you've gotten to that point this fight in round number nine and it's just kind of more of the same old Rivera trying his best pressing forward takes a shot on the way out from Bartolome Francis Bartolome winning this fight going away and again glimpses of brilliance flashes of brilliance from Bartolome uh, just not not every single minute of every round. The fight started, you know, you you kind of know what to expect from a Cuban fighter. You expect the Cuban fighter to look very comfortable, look very poised and calm, and things of that nature, have good boxing ability, all that kind of stuff. But as the fight continues, you, you want to see adjustments. You want to see uh, this fighter, Bartholomew, take control and take over. And I really don't think he did that, even with him outlanding Rivera and and outboxing Rivera has been just a lackluster performance. Yeah, good left hand there by Rivera as well. Again, not as often as Bartolome. Bartolome is, you know, having his way out there, uh, but just not keeping his foot on the accelerator. We're not meaning to be overly critical here, just trying to make a proper assessment. 
Yeah. Final seconds of, uh, I don't mean to speak for your son, but I think we were on the No, 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 track. yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Final seconds, round number nine, one more to go. Lame on the left, all Rivera of the Philippines on the right. Brian Kenny and Sean Porter here. And uh, yeah, no, Sean, I, uh, I just wanted to bring up, we're on the same page. And I, I heard even you kind of mention that in the middle of it, saying, no, I don't want to hurt the guy's paydays. It's just that right as he was calling out Errol Spence and Bud Crawford, it's like, okay, well, Rancis, <laughs> you, you really need to be spectacular to, to, to get a fight with those guys. There's, there's so many fighters that will call out a guy like myself or one of the other guy, top guys that in the division, and then they'll go out and prove that they're ready for that guy by stepping to whoever it is in the ring and getting them out of there. And I'm not saying the only way he can get in the ring with one of us is if he knocks out Rivera. However, you have to look very impressive. You have to be able to wing that left, that overhand left like he did and land it and get Rivera out of here and look, look great. Look at Rivera go to work, Sean. Yeah. Look, I mean, look at he's, he's He's been terrific this first round, this first minute. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, I hate to jump in, but I, no. I mean, the determination he's shown here is impressive. I told and I, and I guarantee you that he's a guy, you get knocked out in your first professional fight, the rest of the way is like, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? You mm -hmm. win 10 in a row, but then you get in the ring with Rancis Bartholomew and you're you're second guessing yourself and who you are. And his, and his corner to this point has just really coached him along and got him up and ready for this challenge. He's good made it, a, he's there. Made it yep. a good fight. Yeah, Bartholomew, a good body work there too, but that first minute was all Rivera. And remember I said, yo, take the fight to the inside if you're having a hard time from the outside or keeping that space or whatever, and fight on the inside. Show us that you're a versatile fighter and can do more. Final half of the last round, Caleb Plant looks on. 20 and 0, 12 wins by knockout out of Nashville, Tennessee. IBF 168 pound champ. And you're going to enjoy watching this guy fight. He, he's a, a, a true boxer puncher, has multiple dimensions, a lot of weapons. Uh, and, and we could see big things from him this year. Canelo Alvarez in the division beat Callum Smith, saying he wants to unify. Caleb Plant has said, hey, look, if he's talking unifying, there's only one way that happens. <laughs> yeah, and he's right. Me. Yeah. Got, it has to go through him. And there's other guys, some belts out there. There's, Sean, you know, there's always going to be other belts out there. Billy Joe Saunders has a belt, and maybe that fight happens in May. But I think the fall, there's a really good chance if Caleb Plant could stay undefeated and look special, we could see a mega fight. I would love to see it. I think he I think he'll be ready for that moment when it comes. Yeah, I agree. He yeah, mentally, physically he's been sharp. But telling me there, good combination to put Rivera on his back foot. Well, he has, he has caused Bartolome's hair to come loose, at least. <laughs> <laughs> the one strand has gotten loose, so he's knocked one loose as Bartolome digs in with another left hand. Final seconds of 10 hard rounds. All Rivera gave it his all, but he gets rocked here in the final seconds from Rancis Bartolome. Who... Back here in Los Angeles, and we get ready for the decision. Francis Bartolome, all Rivera. Let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Zachary Young scores about 97 to 93. Dr. Lou Moret scores 99 to 91. And Max DeLuca scores about 100 to 90. All three in favor of the winner, Kid Blast, Rancés Barthélemy.